What up folks, I am Ultrazilla and this is a haul video. It's not a haul of the week because this haul is basically everything that I got in between the last haul video, whenever that was, uh, <laughs> and now. Um, and I did get something in today. Um, and you know, I just wanted to clear the deck of this stuff. To be honest, I was gonna like include a haul in this past weekend's vlog. Um, which, you know, in the later half of that vlog, I was, like, all complaining about, oh, not complaining, but, like, sad that, you know, my highest stuff didn't come in, my Monster X didn't come in, and then it all dropped all at once yesterday, right? So, speaking of that stuff, which you see some of the highest stuff behind me, and Monster X is, uh, in front of me on my desk still, uh, that stuff is not in this video. Anything that I already, like, unboxed? or it has already been in a review is not part of this video so it's like this is everything else that i've gotten in that i haven't gotten to in any capacity yet at all so i figured I'd, you know and you know again and not everybody like checks out my instagram you should uh or my facebook you should uh for this stuff so you know this is a way for me to show you guys stuff that i've been getting that you may or may not see on this channel and that's why i like showing it here right you know, uh, give it a, li a little bit of once over. But that said, important, important note about this stuff. And, uh, you know, I kind of mentioned this in uh, an Instagram post earlier today after that last thing came in. However, I did want to address it, uh, you know, further here. Well, here in general. I said I was going to mention it here. Um, now that this last thing is in, I actually have nothing in transit currently um and i feel like i just have way too much here right now as well as uh to be honest like financially i need to slow it down a bit for the next few months you know like s s slow it down to a manageable level so there's gonna be a little bit less coming in as far as purchases go i did cancel a lot of pre-orders that were slated to come out uh not everything <laughs> but a lot of pre-orders that are scheduled to come out in the next few months um it is what it is you know uh, everybody has this problem where you know you order too much and you gotta cancel some stuff you gotta make decisions on the fly so right now going to scale it down a little bit. I'm going to try to concentrate on the stuff that's here. Like, I mean, this is insane. There's got to be, uh, you know, something's got to give. So I, I really uh, want to concentrate on working on that backlog a bit, you know, and, you know, getting a few things here and there that's new as well. You know, obviously I'm not, you know, canceling everything. And there's a few things out there that I do want to get, uh, you know, and, and feature on the channel so it's not everything but i did cut down a lot i you know and you know it's there's some things that i, I really did want to feature on a channel and i think you guys might have wanted to see but you know you, you gotta draw a line somewhere so i really got to get to a lot of stuff so you know the next video you will see is not the high toy stuff quite yet because i'm i have to actually film the reviews i've been studying the highest stuff uh and as well as monster x so you know after this next review that's going to come out those are the next things that you will be seeing so do be patient on that check out the unboxings if you haven't support the channel uh by checking out other videos as well uh that would be awesome i really do appreciate that but those videos are coming you know i i want to be able to you know give them their just due uh and i had to get but you know a bunch of work done as well so you know, like, got to get that stuff out of the way. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but there you go. That's what's going on here. You know, the next review, I was started to mention it, is one of these backlog reviews that I had already filmed completely over the weekend. And now is completely, you know, just about completely edited. The final piece is rendering. So that is the next thing you will see on the channel is that review. It's a cool one, you know. It'll be fun to, to see and you guys check it out. And then uh, you'll see all this fun stuff. But let's get to the haul. Okay, and speaking of Godzilla stuff, well, the high Godzilla stuff is behind us. It's like, it's just looking at us. Uh, I got the five points XL Godzilla versus King Ghidorah. And this is the, the thing that came in today the Mezco exclusive. 
Uh, this is the green and yellow translucent figures. They uh, went up on Mezco during SDCC. Um, you know, they weren't exclusive to SDCC. SDCC. You were able to get these on the uh, the website. So, uh, uh, one little note here. I'm not opening up anything uh, in this video. This is strictly showing you the haul. This will be one of the next reviews as well. As soon as I can get to it, I will get to it. Very interesting artwork. I'm not going to comment too much on that quite yet but i do have some stuff to say uh but i will i will save it for the review but i i did get this guy and i know some folks got it like way earlier than me but um you know the thing is with mezco they have a window of shipping and uh you could be at the beginning of that window at the or at the end of that window i feel like i'm in the middle of the months they said they would be shipping it in but here it is now I am excited to get this. I feel like these guys looked really cool as translucent figures. So we'll see. We'll see. So you might have seen that Donkey Kong review, that Jack's mini Donkey Kong review I did with Ultra Zilda Jr. Uh, recently, which we got a five below. But I, after I got that and after I did the review, I was like, man, you know what? I never got the big version of this. So I did a quick online search and I found this guy on Amazon. Um, for $14.95, I was like, what the heck? Um, but when I got the package, it was from a company called fun.com, uh, which is a retailer apparently. And they also sell through Amazon. Um, and yeah, I, I guess this was like stock that they were just trying to get rid of on sale. $14.95 Jack's big King Kong, not King Kong, Donkey Kong. Which I believe they had done once before in a different um, packaging. So this is the Donkey Kong uh, Country, you know, packaging, which is cool, which is very, very cool. So I'm really happy to get that. So I actually checked fun.com and they still had this guy in stock for that price. So, um, I mean, I don't know if it is right now that price, but I did check it like after I got it and it was still that price. So... Uh, do look into it if this is what you want. This is the big Donkey Kong. So I'm really excited to get this one uh, for sure because the little one was really good. And I've liked a lot of these bigger figures that Jack's done before. So this is this is one to, uh, you know, stay tuned for. for the room. Speaking of monkeys, you might have seen me talk about this guy on the Ultra Z News. This is the U2's Kong on Throne uh, that I got from Books A Million. I could have got it originally from U2's, but I decided to get it from Books A Million because um, all of their orders were cheaper than getting it from uh, U2's themselves. So this one in Godzilla I had gotten from them, and then the, the two-pack I had gotten from U2's. Figured one early, and then I'd wait. However, this guy just never came. Uh, and then, you know, if you don't know this story, if you didn't see the Ultra Z news about this, uh, and it wasn't just about this, it was within it. Um... You know, recently I got like a spam email from them and I was like, whatever happened to my Kong? Why did that never come? So I, I checked my account, still in pre-orders. And then uh, I looked to see if it was in stock. Cause sometimes that happens. It happens at Walmart a lot and it was. So I contacted contacted their customer service and they were like, no, your pre-order, yours is a pre-order. This is some, that's something different. I'm like, guys, there's nothing different. There is no other Kong on Throne. And I noticed on the website for the stuff in stock, it said Kong the the Throne instead of Kong on Throne. So whoever entered this into their system when it was received, received it wrong. Therefore, creating a brand new SKU for it. So, um, yeah. I had them cancel my pre-order and I uh, was able to order it and it shipped like next day and you know, I got it over the weekend finally. Um, so if you did have this on pre-order at Books A Million and you still haven't gotten it, now you know why. Next we got the next, next we got the next, yeah sure. Uh, the next Hammond collection piece to come out and it's the Dilophosaurus. I got this from Target. And, uh, yeah, he's one of the little guys, like the, uh, raptor size. Although he looks a little bit bigger than raptor. Could be wrong, I don't have it close. But it does look a tiny bit bigger. 
Um, so this is exciting. I, I'm loving the Hammond collection. It's actually one of my favorite, might be my favorite overall line of the year, um, to be honest, but this is looking good. So I'm excited about getting this guy out of package. Again, I'm not getting anything out of package in this one. Just going over what I've gotten uh, for, for this particular video because I had that long beginning and I apologize, but it was something, you know, that I wanted to talk to you guys about and, you know, alert you guys on for followers of the channel. So, and not that the channel is going to feel anything because it's going to be tons of videos, you know, reviews, news, all of that still stays. So all good. But the Dilophosaurus, uh, I'm excited to review. Next up, this is really exciting for me. Uh, I was able to score one of uh, these T-Rex Zords, Legendary uh, Defender Beast. Uh, this is the Bandai vinyl of it from like 1994, right? 1992, actually. Sorry, 1992, 94 was when MMPR came out. But this is from the original Super Sentai, uh, and that is amazing. Uh, and he's in pretty good shape. If you can see that, he's pretty good, man. Um, I'm really excited to get this. I got this on, uh, Mandarake, I want to say? Uh, yeah, I think Mandarake. I got two things on Mandarake, actually, to show you. So this was one of them. And, um, I got them separately because it was from two separate Mandarake shops. And if you've never shopped there, Mandarake is a chain of stores, secondhand stores in Japan. And, uh, when you order from the website, you're ordering from particular stores. So they don't combine shipping unless it's from that particular store. You understand? So it was two separate stores and I got stuff uh, from but I, you've heard me say this the Japanese yen right now is super low so uh, you know even with shipping some of this stuff is turning out to be really cheap to, to acquire so I was able to get this guy I'm really really happy it looks amazing I'm definitely gonna be featuring this guy on the channel uh, in a review soon as well um, so do stay tuned for that because this is this is super the awesome. other Mandarake thing is another thing I've been like looking for uh for a while uh as well and it's one of the old king kong figures from x plus this is an hmv exclusive version um which i believe has a little bit of a different face and it's got uh and arrow in his in his hand um i believe that's what's different about this one there's nothing going on in the back this is an old old figure I don't know from when, maybe 2005. I think they were releasing these around the time of um, of the Peter Jackson release. But this is the classic Kong, uh, and it goes really with the the T Rex, the meat eater that uh, I picked up a while back that I, I reviewed here on the channel maybe two years back. So I've been looking for uh, a Kong to go uh, <laughs> from that line ever since. You know, there's a bunch of them out there, but you know, it's a matter of price. You know, this guy ended up, you know, without shipping, ended up costing me 45 bucks on Mandarake. C again, because the, the yen is so cheap right now. Um, and it's in box and stuff, and that is absolutely awesome. So I'm very, very excited about that. You know, tape is still uh, there and everything. So that is incredible. Yep, no cut tape. So a brand new still in box, so... This is, you know, as a con collector, man, this is an awesome one to have gotten. I'm really uh, happy about that. that. Again, you know, there's a lot of stuff here that I'm looking forward to uh, reviewing. That's, like, made my decision to, like, slow it down just a bit for the next few months on new stuff. You know, again, not everything. Uh, but, you know, just cut it down a, a lot. Save some money. Pay some bills because there's a lot of bills to pay. Um, you know, and, and focus on the stuff at hand, I, I think is a very wise decision on my part, especially when you got cool stuff like this waiting in the room. And more vinyls, a couple of Bandai Premium figures uh, that I wanted to get this guy for at least a year now. Um, this is the uh, Shin Chan Crayon Buttzilla, uh, but in the, you know, Bandai Premium vinyl line which is awesome and this is the Cantam Robo 
or Quantum Robo. It's actually Quantum Robo, but I'm so used to calling him Kantam Robo from the Super Robot Chogokin packaging. Um, you know, like, and I've loved this robot ever since that figure. So I've, I, I always try to get more figures of this when available. I did get the um, UDF, Metacom UDF figure, but you know, to get a Bandai vinyl of it, especially in the premium line, is awesome. Unfortunately, and I got these on eBay. They were brand new. They came in their shipper boxes. Um, and this guy comes with like some other little box inside. Unfortunately, and the boxes were sealed and everything. Unfortunately, this guy's arm was broken. I don't know if it was in transit or if it came, you know, to the seller. I got these on eBay from somebody in Japan. But it was a really, really great deal. Um, shipped, it cost me like a little bit over a hundred bucks for the two of them. I mean, that's awesome. Um, but again, unfortunately his arm broke, you know, like it is broken right at the top here. Uh, and it's a, it's a break. It's not an articulation point, which is good, but it's an actual, it's a break. I don't know if you can see it well. Um, um, but I have to say, sometimes you get, you luck out. And especially because it's, you know, overseas and stuff. Sometimes you don't get lucky uh, with this stuff. But the, the person that sold it, you know, to me, it was their only ones. Uh, but they were really, really cool about it, you know. And they actually refunded me, like, half the money. I mean, that is amazing. So I'm keeping this, you know, and uh, I'm just going to glue it back. You know, hopefully it looks okay. Maybe a little uh, silver paint will help out because it's a little silver on the bottom. Uh, but I'm going to glue it back. And hey, so I got these for like a little over 50 bucks. One of them is pretty much more than that, you know, and definitely it wasn't going to get it shipped for that price. So it ends up being a great deal for me. So, I mean, I, it sucks that it's broken, but I'll, I'll take it. I'll take and it. And last but certainly not least, I got a big old model kit. This is the Aoshima. A -A -A Aoshima? Aoshima. I want to say Aoshima. Uh, Kiryu Eva 01, Eva Unit 1 color version. That's right. I've wanted to get one of their Kiryu kits for a long time because... It, you know, I've always heard good things, except it's a beast to build, and I haven't built any kits for a while, and I shouldn't buy any more kits. Uh, but this was one from the very beginning that I was like, oh my gosh, I really want this because this is a c color combo. This is a combo of color and figure that's been done a couple of times in a few different lines, but this seemed like, because it's like really super articulated once all done, like the one that I really, really wanted to get. Uh, watch, SH Monster Arms is gonna do one now. However, you know, the reason that kept me from buying it was it was always like $160 plus. Um, whether you're getting it shipped from Japan, uh, Ami Ami was like the exclusive retailer of this, or, you know, buying it like BBTS or whoever else was selling it here in the States, it was always very, very expensive. Well, if you remember recently i got that uh i have it right here this thing the fast pack from uh kits concept i got that at crunchy roll store and i said there, there was an item on sale that i got they just haven't shipped yet um because it was a sale item and they were i guess were really backed up on all the sale items it was this i got this guy for 105 bucks which is a ton less than 160. Um, at that price, for as big and amazing as once this is done is, I had to go for it. I thought that was a really, really good deal. I don't know if I'll ever see a deal like that again. It is now sold out there. Uh, it's rare where a place like Ami Ami is going to have this on sale. Even BBTS, they don't really do that that much. So for 105 bucks, I was like, you know what? I had to go in on it. It was expensive still, but I felt like that was going to be the best deal for this ever. So, you know, it is what it is. Hopefully I will build it at some point. Um, do not look for this anytime soon because <laughs> it probably won't happen. But, you know, it, it's there to be done and I'm really happy to have acquired it. Okay, and that was it, guys. I hope you enjoyed that whole video. 
Uh, I just wanted to clear the deck again, you know, give myself a little extra breathing room. I had brought all the stuff over prior to all the the other stuff, the Haya and the SH Monster Arts coming in. Um, I had brought it over for the vlog, uh, and then I decided to keep the vlog a vlog. So I had a lot to talk about there as well, and I didn't want to make it bigger than it was. Uh, and the Dilophosaurus wasn't here, and the Mezco thing was about to come, so I was like, you know what? I knew that was going to be probably it for a little while. I figured, let me just wait for those items, and then we'll make it, so it its own whole video. And here it was. Um, you know, I ended up having more to talk about at the beginning, uh, which is a decision I made, uh, you know, at the start of this week to cut it down just a bit, to concentrate more on all of the, uh, the stuff that's actually here. Um, so, you know, as well as like review samples that come in uh, and stuff like that, obviously, you know, there's, there's plenty to do and plenty that's going to be dropping. So no worries, guys. It's going to be awesome. Uh, and there you go. There you go. That's my uh, whole video. Hope you dug it. Till next time. Peace out, peeps.